Today's showers did not stop a group of community activists and Inkster fed up with recent shootings. They gathered at Woodson Park for a ride against violence and seven action news reporter Jen Shantz is there live right now. And Jen, what exactly prompted today's event? Well, Amira, these activists say they've noticed a spike in senseless violence in Inkster in recent months, specifically in broad daylight and in areas where kids could be. They started their first death to violence ride here at Woodson Park. They drove around the area of Carlisle and Middle Belt because they say this is where some of that violence has occurred. They were honking their horns and holding up signs, hoping to spark a conversation and curiosity from neighbors here. The rain didn't stop a group of activists in Inkster from getting their message out Saturday. It was a death to violence ride after a summer with too many senseless shootings. All daylight you have kids killing kids in front of kids. Kids aren't even able to get off the bus without having to evade gunshots. In late August, a man was gunned down in his car in Lehigh in the middle of the day. And on September 13th, another fatal shooting on Oakwood. A 26-year-old man shot dead after an apparent argument, according to police. The suspect has since been charged with murder. The Inkster is full of love. Um, we can pack out a room with people from all over in different sides. What the stigma says we can't get along, but we can. But then the violence, all we have left is the names on that board. They're the names of people who have been killed in Inkster, mostly by gun violence. The poster was displayed while the group drove around near Woodson Park, honking to spread awareness. The law can do their job, but it's up to the people to actually stop what is actually going on. Community activist Paris Jones says it's now almost impossible for kids not to be exposed in some way. I have to have a conversation with my five-year-old, and as you see, she has on a shirt, not because I put it on her, because that's somebody that was close to her um, that was taken away. Well, they say for the first go round, they were happy with the turnout and the response they got from neighbors. They say several people walked out on their porch, mostly after they heard the sounds of those honking horns just to see what was going on. And that really was the point of tonight's ride. They plan to do this again October 22nd. Live in Inkster tonight, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.